Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a student interest survey in Microsoft Forms. To get started, sign in and select New Form, and we'll title this Student Interest Survey. Now you can put in a description if you like. In this case, I might write that your responses will be anonymous. And now I'm going to add my first question. I'm going to use multiple choice, and I, w I want to be able to sort this information according to home room when all the data is gathered. So I'm going to make the first question, who is your homeroom teacher? And I'll put in a couple of options here. And we'll do one more option just for our demonstration. All right now that one will be required and I'm going to ask my first true survey question. So I'm going to add another question here and we have all of these question types plus we have the ranking and Likert options as well. I can say something like rank these choices, or rank these options, or if I want to use a different question type, let's go to add question and do another multiple choice. What is your favorite pizza topping? And we'll put in the options of anchovies, pepperoni, pineapple, bacon, or a space for students to fill in a different option. Now, from here, let's take a look at how to share this survey with our students. Now, I said that this one will be anonymous, so I'm not going to use the only people in my organization option. I'm going to use the anyone with the link can respond option. Let's copy that and let me show you the student view of this. So a student will see the survey this way. They'll make their choices and make the submission. All right, so now I have some sample response data. And as the teacher, now we'll look at our responses. And we can see the summary view here. But now I want to open this in Excel. And when I open this as an Excel spreadsheet, I'll have some more options for how to sort out the data that I've now collected. For example, I might want to look and see just how Mr. Hill's class responded. So I'm going to turn on Mr. Hill and turn off the other ones. And now I see, okay, in Mr. Hill's class, those kids really liked anchovies. Now let's look at Mr. Burns' class. Let's we'll see, only one person responded, and that person liked pepperoni. I can go down here and show Mrs. Smith's class. Oh, Mrs. Smith's class liked feta cheese. So I can sort it that way. And I can turn that back on to show all. Again, I can sort this according to topping. So in this case, rather than selecting all, I just want to see which class liked hamburger as a topping. And it's just Mrs. Jones's class. And who likes pepperoni? Oh, well, turns out it's just Mr. Byrne, pineapple, feta. 
and now anchovies. Now I'm going to close out that spreadsheet, and I don't want to save that. So that's one way that you can sort out the data. Now you can also create a form with branching logic, in which case you might use this question four times. So I'm going to copy this over. Now I have the same question appearing one, two, three, four times in a row. But what I'm going to do is go to my first question and I'm going to employ branching logic so that Mr. Hill's class and Mr. Burns' class and Mrs. Smith's class and Mrs. Jones' class will all take the same survey question, but when the data is gathered, it will automatically be broken out for me according to Homeroom Teacher, because Mr. Hill's class will have its own separate line like Mr. Byrne, Mrs. Smith, and Mrs. Jones's class will as well. So that's how you can create a student interest survey by using Microsoft Forms. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.